What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is another um, free channel collective reading. I received a channeling in, so I'm going to do it. Wasn't planning on new, doing another one today, but um, my kids go with their dad to uh, go with their dad today for the weekend visit. So um, I might. Uh, after they leave tonight, I might um, do some more of the sign readings, possibly, um, maybe, or I might drive to the ocean. I don't know. Um, we'll see where the uh, it uh the night leads me. <laughs> It'll just be me, so we'll see. Um, Y'all know I like to get up and go when I can. <laughs> um, of course, I like to take my kids, but they're not gonna be here. So, um, anyway, so yeah, so. But I received another channeling, so um, I'm going to deliver it. I hope everybody is doing well. Oh. Um, this is free general quick reading. There's a psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your particular story and situation, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. We love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,300 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's Hyper Sister 05. The link is in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I apologize if you hear my washing machine, my dryer, or my dishwasher. I've got the lowest decibel dishwasher when I recently bought my appliances, so I don't think it's the dishwasher you're going to hear. It's probably the dryer, but I got the door shut, but I apologize. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was a Taurus is about to break serious, serious blackmail. Um, and they are about to come toward the feminine energy soon. Um, they were seriously, seriously, seriously blackmailed not to speak to her because of um, stolen money issues and other serious crimes committed against her and her family. However, through many series of chain of events, this Taurus is about to come towards this feminine energy. That's what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So Taurus energy strong. You go with your bad self, Taurus, whoever you are, mask on a fin Taurus. You could have Taurus in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Men, Haven, or Jupiter charts. Only you know if you're this Taurus or not. You have to plug yourself in where you fit, as always, okay? Um, if the message or messages do not apply in a particular reading or readings, you have to let it fly. Um, for some, you just might enjoy watching the, um, the readings or the stories, however that resonates and applies, okay? Um, but don't be forcing anything don't fit. That's for sure, for sure, okay? So some kind of Taurus energy, mask on a fit Taurus. Um, you've been blackmailed, heavily blackmailed in the past, Taurus, not to come towards a particular fem energy. So we have the Taurus in here, mask on a fem Taurus, and the fem energy. But you, Taurus, you've been heavily, heavily, heavily blackmailed not to come towards fem energy in the past. Very heavily blackmailed. But this Taurus knows it's smart to do so, and they are right. Okay, um heard very heavily blackmailed in the past but you know it's very smart to do so now uh, or maybe you always knew it i'm not sure however that resonates taurus you can have taurus in your sun moon rising venus or thumb and hammer jupiter charts but it's a fib energy you were blackmailed not to come towards because i heard because of stolen inheritance and money and other crime and crimes being that have been committed against her family so her kid or kids and her i'm presuming and a stolen inheritance and stolen money I mean, that's the most that somebody can do to somebody. And that's just the truth, the most. But you know about this, uh, I'm presuming, or you're about to find out about this. Well, I think you already knew about it. You've been blackmailed. You already knew about it. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. Uh, you plug it in how it resonates, sir, ma'am. It sounds like you're about to move in um, and communicate with this person soon is what I'm feeling, Taurus. You're going to move in and communicate with this person soon. I didn't hear a specific time frame or... What have you, what have you yet? Well, I guess we'll see. Let's see. Spirit messages you have for her side uh, for the collection. An Aries house is about to be destroyed by black magic. 
for one of you Tauruses, you are connected to this Aries. You're about to find this out soon. It is, you're about to put the pieces together about black magic and the house being destroyed. Destroyed on the inside. Oh, so you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. Um, one is a Libra. So one is a Libra and one is an Aries. Okay, so we have the Taurus masculine or feminine here that's about to move towards the fem energy. And we have a Aries and a Libra, masculine or fem, Aries or Libra, that apparently have been, have done black magic in the past or they do it now. How that resonates, but um, you're connected, Taurus. You are connected. You're not currently energetically connected to this fem energy because you've been blackmailed to stay away from her. But there's a Aries and a Taurus, or Aries and a Taurus. Um, I'm sorry, not Aries and a Taurus. Aries and a Libra. Aries and a Libra. Or Aries or a Libra that you're connected to. So for some, you could be just connected to the Aries. For some, just connected to the Libra. Some connected maybe to both. You have to plug the Aries and the Libra in your own life, how they resonate. They could have Aries or Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Hammer, Jupiter charts. But they're Black Magic Wielders, either currently in the energetic space or in the past. But however that resonates, you're about to find out, Taurus, that one of these, or maybe both of these people, homes have been destroyed from the inside out of it. But you're about to put the pieces together and realize it was because of black magic, or it is because of black magic. So they have summoned some kind of demonic entity or entities um, to help them manifest money or looks or fame or notoriety quickly. Um, that's usually why people wield the demonic negative energies upon themselves for some they could be incubus or succubus possibly um i didn't hear any of that but maybe but um but you're about to find out one of their houses is destroyed from the inside out um and it's about to give you a huge wake-up call and you're about to connect black magic with the home being destroyed or homes being destroyed Aries and Libra and energy, masculine or fem, Aries, masculine or fem, Libra. They could have Aries or Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus or fem, in him, or Jupiter charts. You are connected to these people or you have been Taurus. Whoever these people are. This fem energy, you're not connected to right now. I feel it's been energetically blocked, but because of blackmail reasons. But you're about to find out about these people. Now, these people could be anybody in your life. Anybody, friend, family member, neighbor, coworker, boss, manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, um, uh, a neighbor down the street, um, your, I, anybody, a community member, any freaking body. But uh, you know these people or have known these people, Aries and Libra and Energy. You haven't been blocked from these people but there's strategic reasons why you've been blackmailed to stay away from this person. I feel this is a very light side being, and there's a strategic reason why, because, because this person's been stole from, their inheritance has been stole from, their money's been stole, there's been crimes committed against her and her kid or kids. Yeah, um, that's sick. That's sick. Spirit messages you have with Lucky. By the way, while I'm shuffling out, if everybody could think of me, I have a court date on July 15th of 2022, uh, custody battle hearing um, between me and my ex-husband. My ex-husband, this is like number five, I'm thinking it might be six or seven. But anyways, um, many, many custody battles in the past, um, many court situations in the past with him, child support adjustment, child support adjustment, accusing me of child abuse, accusing me of more negative falsities. Um, upcoming in this next one i think it's number five it might be six or seven but court battle after court battle after court battle with him basically um it's on july 15th of 2022 he's trying to fight me for full custody of both of our teenagers um so if everybody could keep me in your thoughts and prayers and well wishes um your prayers your meditations or prayers and meditations or well wishes or whatever you do on the spiritual side spiritual and religious side or just 
whatever you do, whatever religious preference you prefer, if you prefer a religious preference. Um, I very much appreciate it. There's no judgments on religion on here or any judgments, period, unless you're a pedophile or a thief. And that's just the truth. So um, I really appreciate it. It's July 15th of 2022. Um, there's been many, 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 I mean, many, I mean, this, it's been ongoing with this man. I just really, really hope we can, um, he will leave me in peace. Um, and I'm just serious about that. Yin and Yang. About five or six years ago when I was um, dating a person, uh, about five or six years ago, he um, manipulated my daughter when I was living in a rental house back in the country before I moved here to the city five years ago. He manipulated my daughter to take a um, device um, and take pictures of my ex-boyfriend's belongings in uh, my rental house at the time to prove as evidence that he lived with me, but he did not live with me. He just lived 45 minutes away from me. And so he had his personal like shaving cream and razor and things like that there and some clothes items there because he lived so far away um, because he, he stated we had to follow the papers and nobody could live in the home with me, which the papers clearly state that. Um, but he was trying to get her, manipulate her to take the photos in my home, rented home at the time, to prove his evidence that the man was living with me, which he wasn't. And that's the truth. And he was having her walk around with the video um, a video stream on. And I, I said, no. I said, no, 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 no. Um, I don't like that if anybody does that, especially my ex-husband. That's just creepy and weird. And that's just the truth. Number 22 could be a very significant number. Number 22, yin and yang. Number 22 could be, be a very significant number in one's life. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 22, yin and yang. This Taurus has realized they have been lied to in huge ways. Huge waves. A fire is about to get lit under their ass in a huge way. Okay, I heard a Taurus is about to be realized they were lied to in a huge way. A, a huge fire is about to get lit under their ass in a huge way. So, um, fire lit under your ass, Taurus. My goodness, we've had a lot of that in a lot of signs recently. Um, either in the positive or the negative sense. I think it was Aquarius and... Um, Taurus and Leo, um, a lot of signs, a lot of signs, a lot of signs. Um, fire lit under your ass energy. Um, you realize you have been lied to in a huge way. Um, and about to break the blackmail, tired of this shit. About to break the blackmail, tired of this shit, is what I heard. So you're about to break the blackmail, you're tired of something. Um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Um, you realize you were lied to in a huge way. Now, whatever that is and how that applies, okay? Um, yin and yang. So, um, I think you, um, this is masculine femme energy or like oil and vinegar or complete opposite energy. Um, I think whoever you've been dealing with, because we're pulling in you and the person you've been strategically blackmailed and blocked from for strategic reasons and these two black magic wielders, I think this is like, differences you're about to see differences in these people and this person i think this is a very light side individual and these are dark arts people but you have not been blocked from these people but there's a reason somebody wants you around these people for some reason i don't know why i would want to be around these people and that's just the truth um but i think you're about to see differences because we're pulling in black magic wielders and not black magic wielders difference in light side and dark side people is what i'm feeling here taurus uh, with somebody's house about to get destroyed from the inside out, that's what I'm feeling for some. Um, or differences in personalities or uh, or something. You're about to pick up on something intuitively. Um, for one, it's the lies. You're about to realize you were lied to. For some, it could be personality changes. It could be um, anything. Differences in people, period. Um, the lies being exposed for one. I mean, Lord, let me see if I hear anything else.
There is about to be a huge wake-up call in this Taurus. A huge wake-up call. There is about to be a huge wake-up call in this Taurus. A huge wake-up call. So, spiritual awakening energy, 3D awakening energy. Um, I, I just think you're about to see somebody is polar opposite from somebody else or the lies being exposed. Let's pull one more. Spirit messages you have signed for us. And a doctor getting in the middle of a medical malpractice lawsuit is about to come very significant in Taurus's life too. Oh my God! And the doctor and a doctor getting in the middle middle of a medical malpractice lawsuit is about to come very significant in Taurus's life. Oh my God! You plug it in. How it resonates? Yes, spiritual awakening. I was feeling that. Third eye. And a doctor getting in the middle of a spirit. Um, sorry, God, that's taking me aback. A doctor getting in the middle of a medical malpractice lawsuit is about to become very significant for his life. Hopefully, you're not a doctor about to get in the middle middle of a medical lawsuit, medical malpractice lawsuit. Um, I feel for a majority of you guys, it's somebody you know, a doctor you know, about to get in the middle of a medical malpractice lawsuit is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in, how it resonates. Number 22 or 40 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 22 or 40. I, third eye energy here. Six chakra. Spiritual awakening. You're having a spiritual awakening or an awakening of the lies of the black magic wielders, of the not black magic wielders, of the reason you've been blackmailed away from this person because of stolen inheritance, money, probably, a well, stolen inheritance and money is financial abuse. There might have been other kind of uh, other abuses there as well, and that's just the truth. Um, you plug it in how it resonates because there's mental, physical, spiritual, financial abuse sexual abuse there's many different types of abuses your third eye has opened it's about to open you've had a, you're having an awakening an epiphany an aha moment here taurus is what i'm feeling on I, for some i feel it's a awakening about black magic really exists this is exactly what i think for some it may not be because we're pulling black magic in here again and i'm just being for real You do not have respect for this feminine energy in the past, the one you have been blackmailed from, but you have garnered a lot of respect for her now, a lot. Okay, I heard you did not have respect for this feminine energy in the past, the one you've been blackmailed to stay away from, but now you have. You have garnered respect for her. So you've had an epiphany, aha, awakening moment. Um, you did not have respect for her in the past, I heard. You didn't have respect for her, but now you do. Because I guess because you're seeing she's been financially abused or other ways abused. Not only her, but the thing is, is you taking money away from her, you're taking money away from her kids too. That's abusing not only her, but her kids too. That's financial abuse all across the board because I heard she has kids. Um, I heard you didn't have respect for her in the past, but you have gained respect for her now. So that's, I think that's one reason why you're about to come towards her, Taurus. You haven't come towards her yet. But you're about to. Now, only you know if you're about to, if this is your story or not. You have to plug this in, how it resonates, okay? All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Love you guys. During rush hour traffic, there's about to be a very, 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 very significant motor vehicle accident. 
about to very severely T-bone somebody. It's about to cause serious injuries. It's about to wake this horse up in huge ways. Oh my God, this is, whoa. There's about to be a very, very, very serious motor vehicle accident I heard during brush owl traffic. That's very specific. So some kind of, it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. Some kind of very serious motor vehicle accident that's about to happen during rush hour traffic. So rush hour traffic is, I don't know, it's like 3.24 p.m. now. So rush hour traffic is usually during the busiest time, like in, um, usually in the afternoon. Uh, some it could be in the morning, morning or afternoon. But in the afternoon, it's like from like 4 to 6 or 4 to 7 when everybody and their mama seems like they're on the roadway. In the morning, it's like usually like 7 to 9, something like that, 6 to 9, something like that. But some kind of very significant motor vehicle accident that apparently has not happened yet, but it's upcoming in the universe. It's about to happen near rush hour traffic. So I'm thinking like 4 to 7 p.m. or... 6 to 9 a.m. I heard it's going to uh, cause severe injuries and it's a T-bone accident. So somebody's going to T-bone somebody. Um, I heard it's going to wake up a horse in a huge way. Hopefully it's not you, the one about to get T-boned. Um, I don't know, but I don't feel it is. I think it's somebody you are connected with. That's why it's about to cause the third eye to open, awakening, and you're about to have an epiphany and aha moment about something. However, that resonates for us. Lord, um, this is terrible. My condolences to whoever is about to be in the motor vehicle accident. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but I'm pulling this in for a reason. Um, because I guess one of you guys in this situation, you're connected to somebody that's about to get into a motor vehicle accident, a T-bone in rush hour specifically. So you plug it in how it resonates, sir or ma'am, whoever you are and how this applies, okay? I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day. I hope this helped and namaste. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly via social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Single mom and two kids. So it really helps a single mom and two kids in one of her income streams. And um, like I said, I'm saving up to renovate my home right now very nicely. So when I rent it out to the renters, I choose to rent it out to. It will be very nicely done for them. So me and my kids can get out of this toxic situation so I can go live a very happy life with me and my children, basically. All right, I love everybody. Ever have everybody have a wonderful day and Namaste.